is there anything better than when that first sip of coffee hits your lips good morning everyone <laughs> and happy tuesday as you guys are watching this i have just made myself a cup of coffee and i really need the caffeine this morning really really need the caffeine that's a bit better isn't it we can sit down and have a little chat in our usual spot i always like just being able to like put you down and have a proper catch up with you because i won't lie whenever i'm holding the camera my arms start to really really ache um but hello this feels a little bit weird for me this morning because i won't lie i've taken a little bit of a break from vlogging i took a week off of actually filming so there'll be no difference for you like obviously videos still went up on tuesday thursday and sunday last week but for me i didn't vlog for that entire week so it feels a little bit weird so i'm sorry if i'm a little bit rusty I went now. I usually like to be about a week and a half ahead of myself in terms of vlogs, so it feels really, really weird that I'm literally filming this today and it's going to be going live tomorrow. That feels really bizarre for me, um, but not that it really makes much of a difference for you guys. But as you're watching this, it's the day after the lovely Maybank holiday. I say lovely Maybank holiday. We got a little bit of sunshine Saturday and Sunday, but what was up with Monday's weather? I say that, and actually today isn't that much better. It's a little bit drier but it's still quite gloomy and really, really windy. Because we're on like a higher floor in our block of flats, you can really start to hear the wind coming through the windows. It's a bit spooky in a way. It sounds like, ooh, as it's like coming through the window. It's so, so funny. Um, I hope you guys had a lovely bank holiday. Let me know what you got up to at the weekend. I'd love to know what you guys were doing. Were you seeing friends and family? Were you just having a chilled one? Did you go out? Did you manage to get a table anywhere for drinks or something to eat? Let me know. I would absolutely love to hear what you got up to. But anyway, I wanted to talk today a little bit about some new home updates because I took a very, very exciting visit to literally the holy grail of homeware, H&M Home. And I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit disappointed at how much they don't have online is in store because I wish they would put more of this online because I feel like their online home bits sell out so quickly they go so so fast and i know so many of you always message me like oh i love that vase or where's this from and i'll link it to h&m home and it just won't be available anymore and it won't even come up as like out of stock i mean my shell vase doesn't even come up anymore went into h&m home into the store the first thing i see is that shell vase and i'm like why are you not saving some of the stock for online um but it was a very exciting visit because I did pick up quite a few pieces. So what I'll do is I'll link below to just like H&M Home in general in case you wanted to shop anything. But I will also leave either the links or the product codes to the items I'm going to show in this video because I picked up some really, really cute bits. I feel like I've been having a little bit of a spring refresh with regards to like the flat. And I always, always love having a bit of a refresh and just kind of like changing things up a little bit and having a bit of like a restyle you guys know that's literally like my favorite thing in the world one thing that i did just want to do today actually with you guys is if you watched my vista village vlog you would have seen that i picked up this really really cute like dried flowers from the white company and i actually had a little idea i'm gonna i think i'm gonna kind of split it and use it for two separate things so the first thing i want to use it for is my little booty vase this is a vase that i absolutely love i'll link it down below it's so so cute just a little butt sitting on my um desk but i do think maybe it needs a little bit of something and i was thinking of just getting maybe i was thinking actually of doing you know they're like bunny tails i thought would look cute and then i picked this up and thought actually I think that might look really, really nice if I cut it down to size. So I think I'm going to do that for here because I think it would look really, really nice. Well, I've made an absolute mess on this table now. I'm definitely going to have to get the hoover out. Um, but how sweet does that look? I think that really, really like completes this because I did feel like this section was just lacking a bit of height and I think it just gives it a little bit of height, which is really, really cute. So I'll link to the White Company's um, like selection of dried flowers. I think I could link to that if I remember correctly. Um, I'll link that down below if I can. I'll also link the booty vase. And as I said, the H&M Home vase. I just love it. If you want to pick it up, definitely go in store because it was still available in store. Um, but yeah, that looks really cute now okay so i've just come and sat in a room that i feel like hasn't got much love or attention 
on the vlogs recently. It's a room that I've spoken about a fair amount, but not for a while actually. And that's because we, it was basically just a waiting game. So if you're new around here, you won't know that this is a new item, a new addition. This is our brand new bed and I'm so, so excited about it. It is absolutely gorgeous, but it was an eight week wait for it. So it arrived a couple of weeks ago now and we spent one weekend putting it up and like getting rid of the old one and taking that away. Luckily my sister has taken the old one from us. Um, she's just gonna use it in her spare bedroom because it still is functional. It's just the headboard was like a bit broken. Um, so she's taking that away to her spare bedroom in her new house, which is great because it meant that we could just get it all in the car. They could take it off and we could put this one up. So it was really, really handy. We didn't have any nights where we like had to sleep on the floor or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I feel like this room hasn't really gotten a lot of attention, mainly because I just wanted to wait a little bit until I'd kind of like styled it up and gotten it to a place that I was really, really happy with. Because I know I've spoken about this room a fair amount and I've spoken about the fact that it just wasn't a room that I enjoyed being in. And it wasn't a room that I like resonated with or just enjoyed like I just didn't enjoy being in this room I didn't like how it looked and I feel like I'm now finally getting to a place where I'm really happy with how it's looking I feel like it's starting to come together a little bit I mean it's still a small room so there's only like a certain amount I can do with it um and obviously it's rented so I can't paint or paneling or change floors or rip out the ugliest wardrobe in the world um but okay it's not the ugliest wardrobe in the world but it's just an annoying wardrobe um but I am at a place where I'm much, much happier. And I have a couple of new additions that I have bought to just tie this room together, have those finishing touches, the things that like really just complete a room and make it look finished. So I thought I would show you what I have been picking up from H&M Home. As I said, I got these in store. So if I can't find them online, I'll put the product code. And I'll also just link to H&M Home in general because let's be honest, H&M Home is just the epitome of home styling. Okay, so this first thing I picked up, I'm absolutely obsessed with. Now, if there's anything that you know about me, it's that you know I love quirky like faces and bodies and busts i just think it's so so cool and i saw this little fella and i was like i can't leave him behind like he needs to come home with me isn't he just adorable so it's a little if you can see there it's like a face like all it's got is a nose and a mouth that's kind of like not carved but it's been like designed into this and it is just so so cute. So this is actually a candle and it is Sublime Patchouli Scented Candle. Leave, use me with care and never leave me alone. Oh, it smells absolutely insane. It's like, it's quite a fresh scent, which I really, really like. I love fresh scents for the bedroom because I just think anything that's like fresh to me is what a bedroom is. Like I just want this room to smell of like fresh cottons and fresh linens and that is what makes me happy. So I picked him up and I'm so, so obsessed. Now one thing you're gonna notice about this room is there's a lot of like greys and whites and that's a theme I've kind of decided to carry with throughout this room. Um, there's a couple of things that I might be changing but I just thought I wanted to get this video filmed and like show you it because I feel like it's been so long in the making. But yeah, there's gonna be a lot of greys and whites in it. And then the next item I picked up is another candle, but I'm not gonna lie, I can't wait till I'm at the stage where I can just use this as a pot, because this is kind of the reason I wanted it, is to use it as like a little storage pot for just things like hair bubbles and, you know, like scrunchies and clips or anything like that. Just like little, it's like, you know how everyone has a Monica cupboard? I feel like you also need a Monica pot, because just for any like crap that you just need to throw in there. And oh my word. This smells amazing, I actually cannot wait to start burning this. So this is sun-dried linen. Notes of clean cotton, fresh apple blossom, and soft white musk. Oh, it smells absolutely amazing. So as you can see, I've kind of gone down a bit of a ceramic route with these two bits, but I thought they looked really, really cute together, and they would just kind of like style up the room nicely and look really, really sweet. So I absolutely adore that. I don't know if you can tell as well, but it's got this like speckled detail to it, which I think is so, so cute. It's actually really, really heavy in terms of like, I don't know whether it's the wax or the actual pot that is heavy or just like a combination of the both, but I just think it's absolutely adorable and I think that's gonna look so cute on the side. And then the last thing I picked up is a blanket. 
Now, I have been wanting to get like a nice chenille soft blanket for so, so long. So when I saw this in h and I was like, that is perfect. And I am aware it's not quite the same gray as the headboard, but I do have a few different shades of gray going on. So I feel like I'm just gonna like lean into it and just accept that not every gray in the room is gonna match. Not every white in the room is gonna match. It's all gonna be a little bit different. And as I said, it's one of those things where you just kind of got to steer into the skid. Like you've just got to lean into it and accept that. Um, but I just love this. This is the softest thing in the world. I really, really love these kind of like chenille blankets because they're just so like cozy. And I feel like these are so like bedroomy. This isn't the kind of thing that I would put in a living room or, you know, just like to style up. This is something that I would want to look good but also just to snuggle into like you know when you just want to get an early night and you want to be in bed by nine and just like watch something on your ipad you just want to get all cozy i love this for that so and i also wanted it to be something that you can just kind of chuck over and like that undone look is what adds to it because let's be honest men are not the best at making the beds slash my man is not the best at making the bed he makes an effort but i don't know about you but like you know when you have a particular way you like to make it and they don't just don't do it that way and you you're kind of standing there like mm, no, 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 no. It's like what i'm just making the bed and you're like but not like that um so i wanted it to be something that he could just chuck on and like it wouldn't upset me that it's not styled in the way that i want it to be um so yeah i'm so obsessed with this. i definitely think this is online because i've had this saved in my folder my, my save folder for a little while now so hopefully i'll be able to link all of these as i said if not all of the product links that will be down below in the description but oh my word i just want to snuggle up in this now i feel like this is just me done for the rest of the day <laughs> So I thought whilst we were here talking about home stuff and now that I feel like I've gotten the room to a point where I'm really, really happy with, I wanted to do a little bit of a room tour with you guys because as I said, we've been talking about this room so, so much. I've been showing you little like snippets here and there and showing you little clips. What I might do actually, if you haven't been around for a little while, I think I have a clip of what the room looked like before. So I might try and insert that now. So this is the before of the room. You guys will recognize this if you watched my house tour, um, or my flat tour, sorry. You will recognize what this room looks like. But if I talk you through a little bit, so these pillows, absolutely love these. And I really love our, um, what's this called? Bedding. Um, <laughs> really love our bedding. We have Egyptian cotton bedding, which I absolutely love. It's really, really nice and cool, like when it's too hot. Um, and I find that it's like really breathable, which is quite nice. Um, so definitely we'll be keeping that. The main thing that I really hate in this room is our bed frame and the headboard and everything. Um, so this is what we've got at the moment. It was from a brand, I can't even remember the name of it, but it's this very, very dark grey. I remember I wanted the light grey, but they were out of stock. So I thought I'll just go for the dark grey and I'm sure it'll be fine. But it looked a lot lighter online than it was in person. Um, so it's like, it looks very, very dark, almost black on camera, especially, um, so yeah, so we're definitely going to be getting rid of the headboards. I am undecided about our bedside tables because I quite like how open they are, having just these little, these are actually just some um, faux marble Matalan tables. Um, they're not actually bedside tables, but I do find it gets quite messy. So things like end up on the floor and stuff underneath, and they're not very big. So if you see, all I've got is my little Lumi light, a wee box, which this is the th stuff that I keep, which probably should be in a drawer, like things like sleep tablets, my inhaler, paracetamol, um, stuff like that so that probably should be in a drawer so i'm gonna have a look and see if i find anything that i like if not we're probably just gonna keep these um but we will see i mean you guys will probably know before i do because you are in the future um but yeah and then we have this big fan in the corner which i really really don't like i've actually ordered i'm gonna have to say this quietly because he's in the other room i've ordered a new fan for alex as an early birthday present because he gets really really hot at night um but this fan is so loud that i can't sleep with it on so he just can't, it's unbearable for him a lot of the time. Um, so I've ordered a new fan, which was really expensive and really quiet. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get rid of that soon, because I just really don't like how that looks. Like this big fan in the corner, it's not exactly the most attractive. Um, this is actually new since the house tour. This is a mirror that I found on Facebook Marketplace. I got it for like 20 quid um, off a lovely lady. And I really, really love how it looks. It's quite like Baroque style. It's a lot more ornate um, than my usual vibe, but actually... I think it looks quite nice, um, especially next to the grey of the dresser. I think it looks really, really lovely. Um, but yeah, so that just sits on there. And then we also have some stuff on here which I kind of don't really like. So this is Alex's tray, which also, why do men do this? His only job is to keep it in the tray, and yet half the time he keeps it beside the tray. Um, but this is basically to put all of his crap in because otherwise it just ends up everywhere. 
Um, also, what's wrong with men? These are some token things that we got when we went like, I think it was back in January, we went to this like film premiere and that was to get food and drinks. Why would this, why would he keep them? Anyway, um, so yeah, that's his tray. And then also we've just got like lots of wires on the floor. And then you know how everyone has a chair in their room where they dump clothes? Well, we don't have one. So Alex's clothes end up on the floor, which I think is just, it's gonna need to be rectified. I want to get maybe like a little chair to go in this corner. I think that would look really, really nice. Um, and then moving around here, this is going to be the biggest change that I'm actually doing today. I'm going to be moving this shelving unit. I've decided I don't want it anymore. I've been umming and ahhing for quite a while about whether to keep it or not. Um, but I just think I've decided I don't like it. Um, I want a bedroom to be a really tranquil place. I want it to be everything like stored away. Obviously we've got these massive wardrobes, which is great because it means that we can just shove everything in there and close it up and it's just forgotten about. Whereas these shelves do get really messy and everything's on display. Um, so I'm gonna be taking those down today actually. I was thinking of selling them but to be perfectly honest. They were not built very well. <laughs> I built them myself and you guys know I'm not exactly the queen of DIY. And if you, I don't know if you can see down here, this, I've managed to fix it a couple of times. This has just been completely coming away. The backboard, it doesn't actually look that bad. Um, shove you back in there. Um, it doesn't look as bad as it has done, I think because I've managed to like push it right up against the wall. But basically the backboard has kind of completely come off. Um, so yeah, this was one from Ikea. No, it wasn't from Ikea. This was one from Argos actually. And to be perfectly honest, I wouldn't recommend it. It was not very easy to build. I was expecting it to be exactly like the like Billy bookcases and stuff, but it was just a little bit narrower, which is part of the reason why I got it. Um, but to be perfectly honest, I would not recommend this unit. Um, I did not enjoy it. So yeah, that's going to be going today. And unfortunately, that's going to be having to be tipped. I might see if anyone wants to pick up these because um, I know that sometimes having spare shelving can be really useful. So I might just put on Facebook Marketplace for free. Someone can just come and collect them um, because I do feel quite bad. Like it's a bit of a waste, but it is falling apart. So yeah. Um, that's going to be going it today. And then, yeah, that's pretty much the room. Oh, and another thing that I need to find a replacement is a new lamp because, <laughs> so you guys will know this lamp. I'm pretty sure you've seen it. It's one that opens up. Oh, can I reach? There we go. So it opens up like a little spaceship. And I remember when me and Alex were at uni and we saw this on, uh, we saw this in Ikea and we were like, oh my God, we need that. It looks so, so cool. But I mean, we were only like 18, 19 back then. We were very young, didn't have our own place, didn't know our style. And now I think we know our style a lot better. This is not our style in the slightest and it is now broken. Um, so perfect excuse to get a new one. Um, Alex actually broke it when he was putting on fresh bed sheets um, because it's not actually, I think it looks higher than it is, but it's not actually that much high up above the bed that when you shake the bed sheets, you hit it into the lamp. Um, and he was shaking them a bit too violently um, and smacked it into the lamp and it broke. So we can't like fix it or anything. Like it's literally snapped off. Um, but I'm not mad because it means that we can get a new one and he doesn't get annoyed at me for wasting like a perfectly good lamp because it's broken. So yay for me. Um, but yeah, that's basically the room and it's fine. It's just in need of a bit of TLC and I just want to change it a bit to make me love it. Um, so yeah, the fun thing for you is that this is all going to be happening within a matter of minutes. For me, it's probably going to be a matter of weeks, but I'm very excited to start the process. And then what we can do now is I can just add these little bits of styling pieces, finish the room, and then we can do a proper little tour of what the bedroom now looks like. Okay, so this is the before of the room. And here we have the after. I am so, so in love with it. So as I said, I'll take you on a little tour of what it looks like. I really love how the blanket looks. As you can see, I've literally just chucked it on really just like um, strewn over, like really casually. I haven't really put much thought into it. And I think it looks really, really nice. I won't lie, on camera, this bed frame is coming up a lot more purple than it actually is. I'll link it down below. It's from made.com. It's quite an affordable one, actually. Um, and it's in owl grey. That's what it's called online. But it's coming up a little bit more purpley tone on camera. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, but yes, yeah, so obviously, new blanket is from H&M Home. You might be able to see I've got two different pillows at the front as at the back and that's because we both sleep on silk pillows. Um, so I'll link these both down below. I absolutely love a silk pillowcase. They are so, so gorgeous. Like just such a nice way of just really, you know, 
relaxing it's really luxurious but then we sleep on egyptian cotton sheets so i'll link these down below as well for you guys everything will be linked in the description so over in this corner this is a little bit of a messy corner to be perfectly honest because it has a, a fan for alex because he gets really really hot at night um and then obviously the wash bag so that just kind of stays in the corner but i like it there because it means that when you're standing here you can't see it at all so you can't see it unless you're literally like in the room coming round to it um so alex's bedside table i've just dressed it up a little bit i won't lie we're still looking for a lamp for him because we only currently have one lamp on my side which means I'm always in charge of turning the light off when we go to sleep so we are going to look for a new lamp if you have any suggestions of cute ones ones that you think will go in this room feel free to leave me a comment I would be much appreciative um we have we each have a little coaster with our initial on which I really really like I picked these up from anthropology quite a while ago um I'll link them down below in case they are still in stock. And then these little vases are also from Made. I really like them. I think they're just really simple and really, really sweet. And then we have the chest of drawers over here. Um, so let me get back a little bit further. So you'll notice with regards to my styling, I go by the rule of three, which is one that I've learned like from a lot of, I watch a lot of like interior design programs and like home programs and stuff like that. The rule of three. So you'll notice, let's go like this. That might be a bit better. You'll notice three, three, three. So we love the rule of three. It's just a great way of like tying it all in together. I won't like this mirror really needs a bit of a clean. Um, so we've got my new H&M currently a candle going to burn it down and use it as a pot this is a makeup box from pandora that alex got me absolutely ages ago i really really like it um, i don't think it's available anymore but stackers do almost identical ones so i'll link below the gray stackers if you did want something like this in case you're wondering what this is i used to keep a reed diffuser here and it was knocked over once by alex basketballing his his underpants into the wash basket and he knocked it over and the oil like basically burnt a hole in the um, chest of drawers, which is really, really annoying. Um, but yeah, and then obviously need a coaster for drinks. Um, and then I really like how this looks over here. I think this looks really, really sweet. This is actually an old H&M bars. I'll see if I can link it down below as well, which I really like. Love me, my bodice candles. They're just my favorites. And then my new little face candle. Can we just look how cute he is? I absolutely love him. I feel like we need a name for him. Can everyone please leave me some name suggestions down below? Because he's just like sitting over, just looking after us. Um, and then I have just like a little selection of some books. Um, really love this Lily Collins ones, by the way. I mean, obviously Victoria's new fashion roles brilliant and as an editor of life brilliant this i have not seen spoken about much lily collins unfiltered absolutely brilliant and then we come over to this corner which i really like actually it's a bit of a weird one because of the way that our wardrobe is so basically we have like a built-in triple wardrobe which is really handy like it has so much storage in there but it means that we have this weird little alcove from where the door opens because also it opens that way so this is a chair that I actually picked up from a Facebook marketplace a little while ago. You guys would have seen this in a vlog ages ago if you have been following for a little while. I say ages ago, about January, February, but you know, if you've been following for a while, um, you'll notice, like you'll recognise it. Picked it up from Facebook marketplace, absolute bargain. I love it to pieces. I've never been able to find a similar one online to link for you guys, um, which I had a few unhappy comments in that vlog. Um, but I really like it. It does mean that when we open the door, it does hit into it a little bit, but it doesn't bother me too much because the door is open enough for you to come in. We don't exactly leave the door like wide open when you're in your bedroom anyway, so that's fine. And then this is my Ikea mirror, which you might think, Ellie, why on earth do you have a mirror here when you've got mirrored wardrobes there? And it is because you can't see your full outfit in those wardrobes. So obviously I hear you can kind of see your full outfit more, whereas here, because you have to stand so close to the wardrobe, you have to like lean back to see your outfit, which is obviously not the most flattering thing in the world. Um, so yeah, that's why in case you're wondering, this is just the Ikea, I think the Hemneys mirror, which I do like. Um, it's not the biggest mirror in the world. I definitely recommend there's like a bigger one that loads of people always get um, This is what I used to take my outfit photos in so you might recognize it from that um, And then yeah, obviously we've got the huge mirrored wardrobes which are full full to the brim of our clothes And then over here I've just kind of closed the curtains for you know privacy and security But this is a new addition that I'm really really loving. It's a little trunk set which I got very, very kindly sent. And I literally cannot remember the name of the brand off the top of my head, but I will link it down below for you guys because I think they look really, really cute. Now it does overhang, as you can see, on the windowsill just the slightest bit, but it doesn't affect like me getting into bed. 
I still have enough room to walk up and down so it doesn't bother me. And I really, really like how they look. They're currently empty. I haven't decided what I'm gonna put in them yet, but if you are short on storage, I think these are absolutely fabulous, just to add a bit of extra storage. And then of course we have my side of the bed, um, and I've got my little my little E coaster, which I really, really love these. Jo Malone candle, a little shell candle, and of course my trusted Lumi light, which I literally couldn't do without. In case you're wondering what this is as well, this is our radiator. And um, we have these weird electric radiators in our flat, which, are a bit of a pain, are really ugly, but what can you do? Um, and then at the top we have my two prints, which I absolutely love. I'll link those down below as well. They are just so, so gorgeous. They used to be in gold frames, but I changed them to black frames just to kind of go with the vibe. So obviously it's very monochromatic in here. Not a lot of colour, as you can see, but I like the bedroom to be like a very calming place. So I think just sticking to a very minimal colour palette is really great. So yeah, I feel like that bedroom tour has been so, so long in the making, just because it's just taken so long to get any furniture pieces. Anyone who is like doing their house at the moment, I salute you, I feel sorry for you, I don't know how you're doing it because furniture delivery times at the moment are insane. Like we ordered the bed in February and it came in mid-April, which is just absolutely nuts. Um, but I do really, really like it. I think it looks so, so nice. It's such an improvement on our old one and I really love the like button detail. I think it's so, so cute. And this is definitely a bed that we're gonna take like into our next place whenever we eventually move um but yeah and also if you're wondering this is a king size bed if you're thinking that looks really really big um alex is six foot three my boyfriend is six foot three so we just a double bed just didn't work for us um we need a king size bed otherwise his legs just hang off the end um so yeah it's a king size bed so that's why it is very very big and i am aware that these grays don't quite match i could replace it for a white one but is it worth it just for slightly off shade of grey, probably not. Also, this um, chest of drawers took Alex about four hours to make, so I think he might kill me if I got rid of it. Um, but I'm so happy with how the room is looking now. I really do feel like it's just so completed and like so much more us, and it's a room that I really, really enjoy coming into. As I said, I like the bedroom to be really, really calming. I like to try and keep it as minimal as possible. Um, you know we've got a few things like as you know the chair over there if you don't know why we have a chair it's because i don't know about you guys but i find that every man needs a dumping chair for the clothes that aren't quite dirty enough to go in the washing aren't quite clean enough to go back in the wardrobe every man needs a dumping chair so that chair is usually piled high with clothes but especially when the wardrobe's open sorry the door is open you can't see it so that's fine so i've tried to make it like as minimal but also as functional as possible because obviously this is a like working room this is our bedroom you know as much as i've got like my dressing room slash office most of my clothes are kept in here um so we do need it to be just really like practical as well so yeah so happy with how it's turned out as i said i will link everything down below in the description box for you guys if you do want to shop anything and yeah i feel like it's finally coming together Oh my gosh, guys, I just had to show you. I had the cutest little event the other day with Aqua De Palma. And it was obviously like a virtual one. It was online. So they usually send over things in advance. And all I knew was that it was going to be an afternoon tea to celebrate their new fragrance that they'd launched. And what showed up at my door? But these two giant bags. Like, look at the size of that. And as I said, it was to celebrate the launch of their new fragrance, which I am not going to be able to pronounce. It is the Bergamotto di Calabria. So it's a new fragrance, which basically kind of like heroes Bergamot, with Bergamot, Bergamot, which ugh, it smells absolutely incredible. Let me, um, can I do this one handed? Yes, I can. Well done, Ellie. Um, look at this bottle, guys look at that bottle so they told us so much about the fragrance and about like how they extract bergamot and i can't believe they still do it like it's like a hand done thing and they literally have to like soak it with the sponge and it's insane and this bottle is actually fully porcelain like even the lid is porcelain and it just smells oh it just smells absolutely incredible and this is a unisex fragrance so they were saying that it's for <laughs> on the call like oh it can be for you your husband your wife your partner your dog your caterpillar like anyone can wear this fragrance and it smells absolutely incredible but i also just wanted to show you because how cute is this so as i said it was an afternoon tea it was with claridge's and i'm really sad i wasn't actually vlogging that day so i couldn't show you like the actual afternoon tea um but just look at what they sent over it's so 
so cute. So they sent like a little um, like cake stand to put your little like teas and stuff, your sandwiches, your scones, and everything they sent me was gluten free. Like absolutely everything they did me gluten free sandwiches, gluten free scones, gluten free cakes. And then also we have a couple of little cups. And saucers! I mean, how adorable is this? This set looks absolutely divine. I have no idea where it's from. Nicola Spring, never heard of it. Um, but yeah, it's just so, so cute. And then can we also just appreciate this box? I literally need to find it somewhere for it. It's like a hat box. Might see if I can fit some of my hats in. Um, but I'm kind of tempted to keep it maybe like on the bar cart over here. I think it might look really, really nice because like the yellow might stand out a bit. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I love it. And just look. So we had like the loveliest little afternoon tea all on Zoom together. It was just the cutest thing in the world. I love it when brands like make this much of an effort. It's just so so special and then also i mean obviously i get to keep these so it means i've got a couple of little tea cups and saucers now which i absolutely love that that packaging is just so pretty it couldn't not take pride of place on the shelves is that not just the cutest little thing i'm so so in love okay so it's a little while later now and i've just had a new delivery arrive from a new brand for me it's called Varley and it's a fitness brand and they very kindly got in touch and asked if I wanted to try out some bits and obviously as I am quite into like running and stuff and I you know I'm just trying to do better at like you know staying fit physically and mentally for me it's a big mental thing whenever I go on runs in the sense of just like it clears my mind it lets me have just like half an hour just to not think I'll put on a podcast or some music and I'll just kind of like pace it out um, so I was really excited to try it. So I thought I would kind of unbox it with you guys and we could go through it together. Now I have heard some really, really good things about Bali. I've seen, I think it was Josie, Fashion Mumbler, um, got sent some pieces and they looked really, really nice. So I was very excited. So I chose the khaki set, which I really, really like. I just think it was a bit different. And also I think khaki is the kind of colour that like, it's a neutral, but it's not a neutral. Like it's not just plain black. Um, but it's still very like monochromatic, very tonal, and I really, really like that. So we've got the bra here, which I really like the look of. It is a little bit padded, which I'll be interested to see what that feels like on. But what I really like is it's a bit more long line than a lot of sports bras. And I'm not really the kind of person that usually will like just go to the gym in a sports bra, like go for a run in a sports bra. I always usually have like a top over the top. Um, but you know when it's like boiling and you're just really, really hot and sweaty. So I definitely think this is the kind of sports bra that can be worn as a top as well. And then we also have the leggings, which looks absolutely gorgeous. They feel very, very stretchy and quite lightweight, actually. I think I do have a few pairs of leggings that I literally can't wear now because they're so thick that they're kind of like my winter running leggings. And I just sweat so much in them. But what I really like, I love it when running leggings have this big waistband because if they're not going to have a drawstring to like tie you up, they need to be really supportive so they're not like falling down as you're running or you know like obviously if you're doing weights or yoga, whatever it is you're doing, you don't want them to fall down. You want them to be like really flattering and like hold you in and feel really, really good. So let's try these on and I can show you what they look like. Oh my word, this set is absolutely gorgeous. I love it so so much it feels really really soft like the fabric is gorgeous i'm not gonna lie the waistband is not as tight as i would want it to be i do worry that if i was to go running in these they might fall down a little bit so maybe they're better off as just kind of like yoga gym pants instead of like running leggings um but look at that length guys like can you see that that is not bunching at the ankle which is amazing because there's nothing worse than when you're running and you just have like loads of bunch at the ankles they fit really really nicely in length and the top is just gorgeous as you can see it doesn't look like a bra like it looks like you're wearing a little crop top and I just think that's so so cute it really holds me in nicely here as well like I feel like these are giving me such such a waist I love it and it's got like a cute little can you see that little crisscross back detail which I really really like so yeah very impressed with these thank you so much for sending them over Varley they are absolutely gorgeous I can't wait to give them a proper test run and actually use them and start working out a little bit more because now the gyms are reopened we can go back to the gym and we can start getting in shape again which I'm very excited about I'm not going to stop the running because I really enjoy running for mental health wise but just to kind of like get in a little bit of shape again I'm very 
very excited about that. So yeah, I would definitely, definitely recommend picking this up. Right guys, I feel like I'm going to leave this vlog here because it is now about half past five. I think Alex is going to be on his way home from work soon. I'm getting very, very hungry, I think for dinner tonight i might just do like a little chicken noodle dish we've done this thing where we try to be really fair in terms of cooking if you guys know i'm not the best cook in the world and i'm learning i really really am learning and i'm trying so the days that alex is in the office i will cook and then the days that he's at home he will cook and it's just meant that like it's nice and fair we split it quite evenly and especially he's got quite a long commute so when he gets home he just is shattered and like doesn't even want to think about dinner so i'll usually try and have dinner ready for him when he gets home like sitting on the table waiting so yeah i think i'm just gonna do maybe like chicken bag cheese and rice tonight which i know is so simple but like it's one of my favorite favorite dishes because also i can do extra and have leftovers tomorrow and you guys know how much i love my leftovers so i'm gonna finish this vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed seeing inside our bedroom seeing inside our new updated bedroom i feel like the home tours have like it's been a while in the making and that really is that one room that was just always like niggling at me it was never quite right i never was happy with it and i feel like i'm finally at a place where i'm really really happy with how that room is looking so you can definitely expect to see some more vlogs like just sitting in there chilling we can chat away because i'm so much happier with how it looks now so if you did enjoy this vlog please be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe because i know a lot of you guys that watch these aren't actually subscribed so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because it just really helps me out and helps me know what kind of videos you guys like to see and i will see you in my next one bye guys